All right, welcome to this night's uh, version of Tiki Drink Review Four. Well, my Tiki review has been real fun. I've enjoyed suggestions that I've gotten from a couple of you guys. Tonight, I got a suggestion from a dear friend, Jay Thomas, out in uh, Puerto Rico. Living a life out there on the islands. So, I'm going to trust his opinion on a Tiki tropical drink. And tonight, I'll be drinking out of my seahorse tiki cup I got uh, my drink already made up I got a couple shots of dark rum a couple shots of coconut rum and one shot of 151 rum I didn't have fresh nutmeg, so I used ground nutmeg, pineapple juice, and to carbonate a little bit, I put some club soda in it. So, oh, up to the top, we're going to be garnishing that with uh, a little freshly sliced mandarin orange and a fresh sprig so here's what I'm ending up with tonight uh, Jay did not send a name so right now we're calling it uh, the Thomas until Jay comes up with a better name to the Thomas. And I guess if we're going to finish it off, we're going to top it off with the 151, which is always nice. A little flaming dash on top. All the way out. Garnish caught on fire, which actually smelled real nice. And then true tiki fashion, a neon straw. So here's to you, tiki drink review, the Thomas. Mm. Delightful. Ah, sweet, 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 uh, fruity. Can't even taste the room, it's just buried in the back. But uh, it's in there for sure. So I would give this one a super duper thumbs up. Appreciate the suggestion. Uh, stay salty. And, uh, you know, till the next time.